Here we have the Oshitake MS6 noiseless heater. Very nice little piece of equipment and I'll explain to you a little bit about how it operates. The use of hot water is virtually unavoidable in, uh, in most industries today, especially food industry and electroplating and uh, other industries such as cleaning, etc., CIP, etc. Um, and using the simplest way to heat water with steam is utilising uh, direct steam injection. This is typical of a uh, direct steam injection into a, a tank of water. Um, somebody has installed this one with a fabricated sparge pipe. So the sparge pipe is, is just a length of tube with some holes drilled in it and the steam is injected out through those holes into the water, creating the uh, heat transfer from the steam to the water and heating the water up. In this instance here, similar sort of thing, they haven't even bothered to drill the holes, they just stuck a piece of pipe in the end of it um, and at the open end blasting the steam into it. Now both, both those ideas will work and they do work. Um, it all depends on how well you've installed them and uh, how, how uh, well secured they are etc because in both in instances there would be a lot of noise from the steam going into the cooler water, uh, the hot steam would be imploding and condensing uh, inside the, uh, the water, uh, creating a lot of banging and crashing. Same here, you get a lot of noise uh, from the same uh, process. In this instance, at least the load is spread out across the length of the sparge pipe. In this instance, it's just coming out of the end of the tube. A bit like uh, your hose at home, when you turn the hose on, the water's shooting out and if you let go of it, it's going to uh, sway all over the place. This could happen here as well. So you'd have to make sure it was well and truly braced uh, and supported, etc. Um, not to be able to you know, crack your tank because of the movement, you don't want that. But you're still going to have the noise. Um, a temperature control device would be on here to control the temperature in the tank. In some cases you might just see uh, a manual valve and people turn them on and off. So in either case it would work. You've got direct steam ejection, you can heat up you know thousands of litres of water in this fashion and utilise it for some other process down the way. Now if noise is an issue and uh, safety is an issue to you um, we have devices like this. This MS6 is a noiseless heater. So number one, the name tells the whole story really. It kills the uh, sound of the steam to a large, large degree um, of what it might sound like in this instance going through this application. The, this is a typical of, of how you might install a um, noiseless heater. Um, you still possibly depending on how close uh, to, to uh, or far away from the, uh, end of the tank you are, you might still want to brace it. Um, but at the end of the day, this particular device mounted on there will kill the noise. Um, and also a lot of the volatility that you might get from the, from the steam blasting out of the pipe. Um, they have a maximum operating pressure of 700 kPa, but they, they do work a lot better at lower pressures, probably uh, 300, 400 kPa would be better um, for um, noise and, and, and safety, etc. But they will work up successfully up to 700 kPa, no problem. Now, the steam and the water, basically what happens here, the steam's coming in through this point here and it's going through through the valve and this little uh, ring you can see here is where as the steam goes through from this point to, to these uh, outlet nozzles here the velocity of the steam is pulling the water in through that, tube, through that uh, groove there and there's a mixing action taking place inside the MS6 and all that noise and mixing um, that would be happening in this environment is now contained inside the MS6. So it's reducing the noise, uh, reducing the, uh, 
the the, the uh, volatility of the of the implosion of the steam etc and shooting the mixed hot water out through the through the outlets these outlets here they come in various sizes um, 15 to 50 um, I think we carry in stock pretty much all, all the sizes um, and uh, they can be selected and sized on a on a chart that's uh, attached to the data sheet on the on the website now I spoke about in another video how we could control temperature in a, a tank. Uh, we were using a coil in that instance with a trap. In this instance, we've got the noiseless heater, the Yoshitaki MS6 noiseless heater um, mounted in this tank. We've still got our little simple self-acting temperature control. It can be more sophisticated if you wish, but this is all you would need possibly. Um, allowing the steam to go through, mix within the MX6 um, with the water uh, and heating the temperature of the water up. Uh, in, the, in the same instance as the, uh, the coil, we're going to need to have a temperature gauge uh, to, if we use this particular valve, to set the temperature against. So if we wanted it to run at, say, 80 degrees C, we would wind this temperature gauge, this uh, temperature control valve in until it became 80 degrees on the temperature gauge. And then under steady load conditions, it should sit there pretty accurate, um, plus or minus one degree, something like that. Um, with this type of uh, situation, as opposed to the coil where you're actually discharging your condensate out through a steam trap to waste or wherever you're taking it back to your, back to your boiler feed tank, um, the, um, the, the actual full amount of the steam energy is being utilised. In the coil process, you're only using the uh, enthalpy of uh, evaporation. In this case, you're using the total enthalpy of the steam. But with that, anything that was discharging out here as condensate would be discharging in here. So for every kilogram of steam that is going in, to the, to the MS6, it's going to be entering into your tank. So therefore, the level of the water or, or the fluid inside the tank could increase, and you need to take that into consideration when, when building your tanks, etc. Because there will be, for, for every kilogram of steam, there'll be a litre of water uh, end up inside that tank. Um, Efficiency-wise, it'll be uh, far more efficient than the coil because obviously all the energy is being used in heating up inside that tank. Um, the vacuum breaker situation, which was mentioned in a previous video as well, is even more important in this situation because the moment you cut the steam supply to this portion of the pipework, the steam in there will start to condense. And as it starts to condense, uh, it may cause a vacuum, uh, and therefore you're going to get reverse flow and water being pulled back the other way and maybe back through into your steam system and you definitely don't want that to happen. So a vacuum breaker um, will go a long way to, to stopping that problem. You can also put a, a check valve in if you wished. So it's very important that you consider vacuum breakers, check valves um, when, when installing this type of uh, configuration. With the noiseless heater. It's important that you consider all that information when uh, utilising the noiseless heater uh, and also the size of the tank because otherwise you'll have it overflowing uh, before you know it. Um, there's not much else to say about this unit but this size here is a um, 32 millimeter inch and a quarter unit. It's very compact for its size. Uh, 50 millimeter obviously would be a little bit uh, bigger in its diameter. One thing I could point out here is if you need m more capacity than what one unit will do, in particular if you're getting up into the bigger sizes or even if you want to just spread the load over two smaller units, you can set these up in, in a situation where you might have
two of these noiseless heaters installed in the tank to give you larger capacity. So we may be able to put a larger control valve on there. You may have a 50 millimeter, 100 millimeter control valve. Just depends on, on, and you could have more than two, you could have three or four, how you want to uh, do your process and, and how important it was to get it uh, heated up in a certain time. That's all I think I can say about the MS6 noiseless heater from Yoshitaki.